China's South to North Water Diversion Project represents the world's largest water transfer scheme, designed to address one of humanity's most pressing challenges, water scarcity. This $70 billion mega-infrastructure project aims to transport water from the water-rich Yangtze River Basin in southern China to the drought-prone northern regions, where over 400 million people face chronic water shortages. The project consists of three main routes, eastern, central and western corridors, each spanning thousands of kilometers. The eastern route utilizes existing rivers and canals, including the ancient Grand Canal, while the central route features newly constructed channels and tunnels. The western route, still in planning phases, will be the most challenging, requiring water to be pumped over the Tibetan Plateau. Construction began in 2002, with the eastern and central routes already operational since 2013 and 2014, respectively. The project involves massive engineering feats, including the construction of pumping stations, aqueducts, tunnels, and treatment facilities. Over 330,000 people were relocated to make way for reservoirs and channels. This ambitious undertaking addresses China's fundamental geographic challenge. The South receives 80% of the country's water resources, while the North, home to 45% of the population and 60% of agricultural land, suffers from severe water stress. The project promises to transform agriculture, industry and urban development across northern China. The engineering scope of China's water diversion project defies conventional infrastructure limits. The central route alone stretches 1,132 kilometers from Danjiangku Reservoir to Beijing, featuring 64 pumping stations and crossing over 700 rivers and streams through sophisticated aqueduct systems and underground tunnels. One of the project's most impressive achievements is the Yellow River Crossing where engineers constructed twin tunnels 35 meters below the riverbed, allowing southern water to flow beneath China's second longest river without mixing. This technical marvel required innovative boring techniques and waterproofing technologies to prevent contamination and structural failure. The eastern route pumps water uphill over 65 meters through 13 pumping stations consuming enormous amounts of electricity. Engineers installed state-of-the-art pumping equipment capable of moving 14.8 billion cubic meters annually. Advanced automation systems monitor water quality, flow rates, and pressure throughout the network. Quality control represents another engineering challenge. The project includes 155 water treatment facilities using advanced filtration, UV sterilization, and chemical treatment processes. Real-time monitoring systems track over 100 water quality parameters, ensuring transported water meets strict drinking standards. Construction required moving 1.3 billion cubic meters of earth and rock, equivalent to building 650 Empire State buildings. The project employed cutting-edge construction techniques, including tunnel boring machines, precast concrete segments, and GPS-guided earth-moving equipment. Weather monitoring systems help operators manage seasonal variations and extreme weather events, affecting water flow and quality. The Water Diversion Project is revolutionizing agriculture across northern China's arid regions. Before the project, farmers in Hebei, Henan and Shandong provinces relied heavily on groundwater pumping, causing severe aquifer depletion and land subsidence. Some areas experienced groundwater level drops of over 100 meters, threatening long-term agricultural sustainability. Reliable water supplies now enable farmers to cultivate water-intensive crops previously impossible in northern regions. Wheat yields have increased by 15-20% in areas receiving diverted water, while farmers can now grow rice, vegetables and fruits that require consistent irrigation. The project supports China's food security goals by expanding arable land and improving crop reliability. Modern irrigation systems accompany the water infrastructure, including drip irrigation, sprinkler systems and precision agriculture technologies. These systems reduce water waste by 30 to 40 percent, 
compared to traditional flood irrigation methods, farmers receive training on water-efficient techniques and crop rotation strategies that maximize yield while minimizing consumption. The project enables agricultural diversification beyond grain production. Greenhouse farming, aquaculture and livestock operations benefit from reliable water access. Some regions have developed high-value agricultural exports, including organic vegetables and specialty fruits, creating new economic opportunities for rural communities. Environmental benefits include reduced pressure on local water sources and improved soil quality through controlled irrigation. However, challenges remain regarding water pricing, ensuring equitable distribution and preventing overuse that could strain the system's capacity during drought periods. China's mega water project has transformed urban water security for over 100 million city residents across northern China. Beijing, historically dependent on declining groundwater reserves, now receives 70% of its water supply through the central route. The capital's water crisis, which threatens sustainable development, has been largely resolved through this massive infrastructure investment. Tianjin, China's fourth largest city, exemplifies the project's urban impact. Previously facing severe water shortages that limited industrial growth and residential development, Tianjin now receives 1 billion cubic meters annually through the eastern route. This reliable supply supports the city's expansion as a major port and manufacturing hub. The project enables urban planners to develop new districts and industrial zones previously constrained by water availability. Cities like Shijiazhuang, Zhengzhou and Jinan have expanded their urban boundaries and attracted new industries requiring substantial water inputs. Population growth in these cities has accelerated as water security removes a major constraint on development. Water quality improvements benefit millions of urban residents. The diverted water often exceeds local source quality, reducing treatment costs and improving public health outcomes. Cities have upgraded their distribution networks to handle increased volumes and maintain quality standards throughout the system. However, urban demand management remains crucial. Cities implement tiered pricing structures, leak detection programs and water recycling initiatives to maximize efficiency. Smart water meters and monitoring systems help identify waste and optimize distribution across growing urban populations. The economic implications of China's water diversion project extend far beyond infrastructure investment. The $70 billion expenditure has generated substantial economic multiplier effects, creating jobs in construction, manufacturing and engineering sectors. Over 200,000 workers participated in peak construction phases, developing specialized skills in large-scale water infrastructure. Industrial development in northern China has accelerated dramatically due to reliable water access. Water-intensive industries, including steel production, chemical manufacturing and textile processing, have expanded operations or relocated to previously water-constrained regions. The project supports China's industrial policy goals by enabling geographic diversification of manufacturing capacity. Agricultural productivity gains translate into significant economic value. Improved crop yields and expanded cultivation areas contribute billions annually to agricultural output. Rural incomes have increased in regions receiving diverted water, reducing urban-rural income disparities and supporting poverty alleviation efforts. Real estate values in water-secure areas have appreciated substantially. Cities and regions with guaranteed water supplies attract investment and development, creating positive feedback loops of economic growth. Industrial parks and special economic zones leverage water security as a competitive advantage in attracting foreign investment. The project demonstrates China's capacity for large-scale infrastructure development, enhancing the country's reputation in global infrastructure markets. Chinese engineering firms have gained valuable experience applicable to international water projects, supporting Belt and Road Initiative objectives. 
However, ongoing operational costs, including electricity for pumping and system maintenance, require careful financial management to ensure long-term sustainability. While solving northern China's water crisis, the megaproject creates complex environmental challenges requiring innovative solutions. The massive water transfer alters natural hydrological cycles, potentially affecting ecosystems along both source and destination regions. Environmental monitoring systems track impacts on wetlands, wildlife habitats, and aquatic ecosystems throughout the network. Water quality management represents a critical environmental concern. The project transports water across diverse geographic regions with varying pollution sources. Advanced treatment facilities and strict watershed protection measures in source areas help maintain quality standards. Regular monitoring detects contamination sources and enables rapid response to protect public health. The project's energy consumption raises sustainability questions. Pumping stations consume approximately 1% of China's total electricity production, primarily from coal-fired power plants. Engineers are implementing renewable energy solutions, including solar and wind power installations at pumping stations to reduce carbon emissions and operational costs. Ecosystem restoration efforts accompany the infrastructure development. Wetland construction along channels provides wildlife habitat while improving water quality through natural filtration processes. Reforestation programs in watershed areas reduce erosion and enhance water retention capacity. Climate change adaptation features prominently in project planning. Variable precipitation patterns and extreme weather events require flexible operational strategies. Reservoir management systems optimize storage and release schedules based on weather forecasts and demand projections. The project's infrastructure includes climate-resilient design features to withstand temperature extremes and severe storms. China's water diversion success has inspired expansion plans and international interest in similar mega-projects. The Western Route, designed to transport water from the Tibetan Plateau, represents the next phase of development. This technically challenging route requires pumping water over 3,000 meters elevation, demanding breakthrough technologies in high-altitude pumping and pipeline construction. International cooperation opportunities emerge as China shares expertise in large-scale water infrastructure. Countries facing similar water scarcity challenges, including India, Australia, and parts of Africa, study China's experience for potential adaptation. Chinese engineering firms actively pursue international water projects, leveraging knowledge gained from domestic experience. Technological innovations developed for the project have broader applications. Advanced pumping systems, water treatment technologies and monitoring equipment represent exportable technologies with global market potential. Research and development investments continue improving efficiency and reducing environmental impacts. The project's success influences China's broader infrastructure strategy. Lessons learned about project management, environmental protection and community engagement inform other mega-projects, including high-speed rail networks and renewable energy installations. Integration with smart city initiatives and digital infrastructure creates synergies, enhancing overall system efficiency. Long-term sustainability requires continued innovation and adaptation. Population growth, economic development and climate change will increase water demand and alter supply patterns. The project's modular design allows for capacity expansion and technological upgrades as conditions evolve. Future phases may incorporate desalination, water recycling and atmospheric water generation technologies to diversify supply sources and reduce dependence on interbasin transfers. Thank you for watching this exploration of China's remarkable water mega-project. This $70 billion investment demonstrates how large-scale infrastructure can address fundamental challenges of water security and food production. 
The project's success offers valuable lessons for countries worldwide facing similar water scarcity issues. If you found this documentary informative and engaging, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth coverage of global infrastructure projects and their impacts on society, economy and environment. Your support helps us continue producing high-quality educational content about the engineering marvels shaping our world. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest releases exploring humanity's most ambitious projects and their far-reaching consequences.